Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Uncle Wolfie vs Champ. We're on Toxicity. It's a good map. It's a good matchup. And we have got Wolfie as our POV in this one. Champ currently hosting a really good uh, tournament, kind of a round robin -y type system. Not 100% sure on the details, but over on the Rocket Jump Zone Twitch, those matches are being streamed. Not sure where, if any, VODs are up. But we are on his server uh, with the really nice overlay and stuff, uh, which you can't see most of it. There is a really nice spectator overlay, but it's, um, it's not saved because Wolfie's playing with the... Uh, actually playing so the spectator overlay is not saved but those air shots and those triple frags and stuff are unfortunately Wolfie going down in that lava there potentially on purpose I'm not 100% sure but yeah it's also what's giving us the LG instead of the Crylink being down in that corner oh no <laughs> that's a double self frag there from Wolfie unfortunate for him this map is a big map about teleporters. About making sure that you know where the teleporters go. Wolfie will have played this map a fair bit. It's a semi-popular map in Zenotic. It's a little bit dodgy because like the these boxes don't have rounded corners so they don't quite work with our movement. But um, Wolfie, a seasoned CPMA player, definitely knows his way around this map. There's definitely some good tricks you can do with the blaster on here, though. Nice little bit of LG pin. He's not going to want to push in there, but he's going to get a beautiful bit of damage up there as Champ goes for that Mega. Oh, nicely done. Right onto the Mega. And a beautiful air shot into Champ. 80 damage. Doesn't manage to connect with a kill. Champ does manage to do a bit of damage back to Wolfie. Not sure when this timing's up, but Wolfie's there very early for it by the looks of things. Keeping the spam down, but that means Champ was able to take the timing. Oh, beautiful there from Wolfie. I'm not quite sure if Champ was hoping Wolfie wasn't there, but Wolfie was there ready to pin with the LG. Perfect weaponing, perfect positioning there from Wolfie. Champ turning a turning a two-frag lead into a two-frag deficit in only a few seconds, but yeah, just as I was saying, with the rockets, Wolfie was shooting one up, one down, one up, one down. And what happened there was Champ was actually able to watch and just go, he shot one up. I'm going to pop through round the corner on the one, when, you know, just after he shot the one down because I've got a bit of a break before the next shot comes through. And it was perfect, did a lot of damage. Unfortunately, Wolfie was then able to just hit a rocket straight onto him, do a lot of damage, get him down. Champ with a desperate peek, probably hoping at that point. And all of that happened a minute ago. But we're in a bit of a... This This is considered a quiet period in this game. Uh, if you haven't been here before. All of this going off. This is quiet. Not a lot's happening really. You know, Champ takes the armour. Wolfie's got to get away. But that's when I get to talk about things that happened a couple of minutes ago. While the actual things like this were happening. It's a great battle over here. Wolfie going to be able to take Champ down. Increase his lead quite a bit here. Should be able to take this Mega, he's going to take quite a bit of damage from Champ. He's going to be stuck in there. Champ knows he's got that position. You're never without a weapon on this map. It's something you really have to realise. There's no point where you are without a weapon on this map. Um, whereas a lot of maps you might be able to get in and fight someone who's only got a shotgun. This isn't one of those maps. You'll always be stacked up and very quickly you'll be able to stack up with every weapon that you need. The rail, although usually it would be one of the most powerful weapons in a game, um, the vortex isn't so powerful here because there's such short sight lines. It's unable to sort of characterise itself. But the rockets in this game specifically, the, uh, their ability to be curved, they're great. They're great, as we saw Wolfie do earlier, shooting straight up onto that uh, mega pad and then getting Champ from underneath. Incredible play. Look at that beautiful shooting from Wolfie. Just waiting now. Where's Champ going to respawn? Where's he going to be? There he is. Wolfie's found him. Nice bit of damage dealt. Takes the lead up to six as we near the halfway point. He's just spotted Champ behind him, I think. Oh no, Champ's AFK. 
He's got stuck. Proper is this a proper stuck spot? Or is this a he got stuck in the last fight? No, he's literally stuck off of the spawn. Nice. Nice. Jam calling GG? I mean, the only thing you can do is kill. It is a self kill, you know, which is what he's done. Um, the only other thing, you know, Wolfie could suicide himself. If a stuck spot like that happens, but it doesn't look like they're going to come to that agreement. I've never seen that happen on that map before. I, to be honest, I've not played it all that much. But I've played probably... I've probably respawned on this map a lot, a lot of times. And I've never had that happen. Never seen it happen, never had it happen. I've played a few games on this. I've played 2v2 on this even. It's a good map. Ah, oh, nice shot there from Champ. It's good shooting. Wolfie trying to connect, manages to blast Champ up in the air, but doesn't have the health to be able to continue. Nice shot there. That teleporter, always difficult to deal with, because someone will go behind it. You pretty much never see someone not go behind it. Nice shot there from Wolfie. Where did he pick up that Devastator from, though? No, he didn't. Huh. It just said you have the Devastator. Never mind. Oh! Lovely shot. The positioning. He goes for the Mega. He comes back round. He gets the kill. Manages to connect another one with Champ, who'd already damaged himself in some way. Look at that. Two air shots in a row. Dead on. 80 damage. Can he connect one more shot? That's all he needs. Uh, There's only 20 damage needed in the, uh, in the ooze over there. But Wolfie doesn't want to push in because he knows now Champ has more armour. And like I said earlier, you're never out of weapons. So it's always worth pushing if you know your opponent is going to be pretty low. Because you, you know, Champ knows he's hit Wolfie with a few shots through there. He knows. So he's going to be um, going to be in prime position wanting to take Wolfie down. Wolfie's actually risking it a lot here. Trying to get Champ down. Champ has... Um, then we had a lot less control over this game. I mean, we can see how many items Wolfie's taken. But it's mostly these 50s. These 12 50s that we can take. We're not quite sure what Champ's done. But he's done not much less damage. Not as much less damage as the kill screen would uh, suggest. But he's def he also has had a few self kills. So that's probably most of what takes that up. But it's a pretty even game, and now Champ, with a minute and a half left to go, looks to be trying to even it up. Wolfie's going to have to step back and try and play a bit more carefully. Oh, it's close. Wolfie connects. Champ rushes in. Is Wolfie going to be able to... Beautiful curved rocket! Just about to say, is Wolfie going to be able to connect one more shot? I think that's all he needed, and that was indeed all he needed. But Champ now bullying Wolfie, keeping him off of the point. But Wolfie's going to be able to get it. Champ's now in tatters. He needs to get Wolfie down. But Wolfie's got the um, got the control over the map, really. He's got Champ to push. He's forcing Champ in this last bit to push himself. It really looks like Champ's given up. Uh, but Champ needs a breakthrough. He, there is a chance he gets through. But all Wolfie's got to do, especially on a map like this, like I said, say another time. Always got a weapon. Um, Wolfie's now going to be able to wait for Champ to come to him. Because Champ either throws himself at him. Uh, and lose, and kind of risks going down. And risks losing a lot, of, a lot of frags. Or Champ doesn't throw himself at him. And Wolfie wins because Wolfie's just going to hide. You know, you can't do that all the way through the game. 
But right at the end, in the last minute, you can certainly on this map with Wolfie's playstyle, certainly just sit back, wait for the guys to come to you and just sort of, you know, he's just moving around just as much as he needs to. But look, just run away and then let Champ come to you. Let him, you know, take the shots as you backpedal. Great game there from both players. Really nice shooting there from Wolfie. Really tactical gameplay. Don't think he quite had the accuracy, but you can see the damage he did. I mean, yeah, he got less accuracy, but he was shooting so many more shots. I mean, if we just have a look at the number of uh, the number of shots with the Devastator, it was six kills from Wolfie. All of Champ's kills were with the Devastator, except for one, which was with the Nex. Whereas Wolfie had a much more even split and had the LG coming out a lot more. But just an extra, he had 156 to 107 shots. And he only hit an extra few. But it was extra 500 damage he did with it. So, you know, very even on the items as well. So, yeah, fantastic game from both of those players. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.